hi it is Wednesday and my partner and I came to school <sighs> didn't really want to but here I am um it's actually not that bad I just I wanted to get a few things out of the house um when I was organizing my craft room there was a ton of stuff that belonged here not at my house so um, I have some stuff back here that I'm having to put away. I've already reshelved all the um, books that I had in quarantine. And that's about it, really. I'm just uh, kind of hanging out and... Um, no, I'm not hanging out. I'm just kind of getting some things organized. So um, I will show you a couple of the things that I have planned for think. I cut myself off. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I have for January. So these games that I bought, these are called Morning Tubs. And they're by Cynthia Vautrot. I'm not sure I'm saying her name correctly, but she has lots of great stuff. If you haven't visited her on <clears throat> Teachers Pay Teachers, visit her. She's got great stuff. These are the third grade Morning Tubs. And so... <clears throat> While I was cleaning my craft room, I pulled the ones that I had ready for January. There are things like, um, <clears throat> this one is cover the words, um, target words. I don't even remember. Oh, I know. I remember. It is like you have to cover all the adjectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So you have to follow all the adjectives. I have erasers that I'm going to use, but I still have those um, to be distributed at my house. I'm going to put them in bags. Then this one is a money counting activity. Um, there's some just reading passages. But anyway, oh, cursive, which the kids loved last year. As you can see, they're not even cleaned off. I should do that now, but I probably won't. I'll just have a kiddo do that. They love to use the... Um, magic eraser or whatever to clean that off um so I'll probably give somebody that job on Monday morning these are the things that I use for uh the kids when they come in because we don't have outside recess so you can kind of see there's a build a snowman one anyway lots of good ones some I've just downloaded for free off of teachers pay teachers and these are the ones that I was using um earlier in the year. You've seen these, but I always just keep them out. I have some paper just in case they just want to draw or color or something. Um, I leave them all out because kids love going back to what they already know. And then I have stacks and piles and oh my of new books that I've either picked up or one was a tub of scholastic books that I had in my craft room and now I I have them um, here in my classroom. So that's what I've been working on. Um, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing. I'm also going to rearrange my kids' seats um, because they've been gone for two weeks and I feel like, you know, definitely um, that's been enough time away from their seat. What is happening? I don't know. Um, that's been enough time away from their stuff. So. I could safely move them around. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm also getting two new kits. So I'm up to 22, I think. Um, 22 kids, 17 boys, and five girls. So to call this room Boys Town would be, you know, pretty accurate. Anyway, um, I'm going to do that couple more things and then I'm going to get going home. I have some more things that I'm working on there. Um, I'm going to start tackling my closet, but I'm not going to do a hundred percent overhaul like I did on my craft room. I'm just going to go through just some things. So I will talk to you later. I am trying this today. I just picked it up at Target. And it says cooks in seven minutes. That's pretty rapid fire. Anyway, it has um, noodles, but it also has broccoli, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, which we love, red cabbage, kale, carrots, pea pods, and then there's teriyaki sauce. So it's all in there, which I really like having everything in a bag. I'll let you know how it is. The directions say that I should heat the pan, which I'm doing, and then I'm gonna add some oil, 
which I'll do. And then you're supposed to microwave the noodles for 45 seconds to a minute, and then you just add them, and then you add the teriyaki sauce. So it should be pretty quick. Veggies look delicious. So it's all gonna come down to the sauce, because really, the secret is always in the sauce. The noodle packet looks a little odd, but it says just to puncture it and microwave. Okay, so I put the noodles in and the sauce, and then it said, oh, it's hard doing this with one hand. It's splashing everywhere, but it's okay. That's what cleaning the kitchen was made for. Anyway, it says to, whoops, like to fling the veggies out of the pan. Now, it says to cook the vegetables to your desired uh, tenderness, and then you're done. I feel like the noodles still going to stick all together. They're not, but I don't know. Anyway, it looks and smells delicious. I'll let you know what we think and then we eat them. There it is on the plate. Looks good enough to eat. Let's see if it is. I'm going to take it to the table. I wanted to show you really quick what I made. Um, I had shown you the um, banner idea from the Seeds We Sow. I think that's what the company name is, her uh, Teachers Pay Teachers name is. Anyway, look, I put it just using some um, double-sided sticky tape. So it's gonna look like this. In with the new, and of course, hanging up, I'll do, oh, I lost one, but it'll look kind of a little bit uh, swaggy. And then it says, in with the new, oh, and I lost, hold please. My next word one, but let me fix it. There we go. It says Happy New Year. And you know what? I might, hmm, I think I'm gonna put them a little bit closer together. And then I may have to um, add more tape because this ribbon doesn't want to stick super well to the back, but I think it'll be okay once it's up on my board. And I'm just going to hang it up on my chalkboard. It won't take up much room at the very top where I can't reach anyway. So there we go. I think that might swag a little bit better now. Yeah, there we go. So that's what it's going to look like. And then I made these cute little bows. This one um, is finished right here and this one is not I just have to trim it and make it little little um, give it some little bends and then that is gonna go on the end isn't that cute things that make us happy okay so I finished I just um, taped on the little bow at the end and then I did go ahead and reinforce the tape on the back I think that will help and then there's the other end and I'll show you tomorrow once I hang it up on my board. Here it is on my craft room floor. I think it's so cute. And I have um, her whole bundle and in there were some winter ones. So I'm gonna make those as well. Not tonight, but another night. Good morning, happy Tuesday, Monday. Just like came and went faster than I knew what to do with. Anyway, I'm back. I am just now hanging up my little uh, New Year's swag. So I'll show you where I put that and what it looks like in just a minute. There it is. I think it's very cute. I put it up on, I gotta watch out where I'm going because walking backwards is not my forte. I put it up there. It looks kind of small, but I think it's cute. And don't mind the black marks all over the whiteboard that I didn't clean off yesterday. Hello, it is Thursday and it is nighttime. I am fixing dinner and it's really weird. So I thought I would show you. Have you ever gotten like a craving for, I mean, outside of pregnancy, cause that is not the case. Um, or I would be like probably in a Guinness book of records. But that's okay. Um, a craving for something kind of weird and just gone with it. So I wanted, well, okay. Let me back up. We picked up our grocery order yesterday from Walmart and it, uh, we got chicken. I get chicken every week. Both packs, I get two packs, both packs expired today or not expired, but like they said, used by today. So I had to use them 
today. I usually have a week and I was tricked, but that's okay because very thankful that someone else shopped for me. So I grilled chicken tonight, which I was not really in the mood for, but I thought, well, I'll grill it. I can always just eat something else. That's fine. Right? All right. So mm, I grilled the chicken and then I thought, you know what? Rice. Ooh, rice and chicken. Okay. I know that's not like clever or outside the box, but it just sounded good. And we don't eat rice like ever anymore. And so I made rice. Then I thought, you know what would be really good is rice. Okay, now this is where I might lose some of you, but I thought, I'm going to scramble some eggs. Doesn't that sound good? Rice and chicken and scrambled eggs. So that's what I'm eating. Haven't actually eaten it yet, so I'll let you know, but I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the grilled chicken and I'm still using this and I absolutely love it. It's the roasted chipotle garlic by Cuisin Art, and it's in the grilling section I believe of Walmart. I'm sure other places sell it as well and here is what my lunch is for tomorrow. It's just a, one of those little containers and I put rice about um, a third of a chicken breast and scrambled eggs. And then tonight, I haven't um, put the chicken in yet, but I have, um, it's three tablespoons of rice. Uh, I scrambled a total of three eggs. So figure an egg and a half, an egg and a half. And then I'm gonna put chicken on it and it sounds really good. So I'll let you know. Okay, <clears throat> so I am eating my dinner now. Don't ask why it's in this. I, um, you can ask, I just will answer. Anyway, it is, um, because I thought I was gonna have two containers of leftovers, but then I forgot that I was actually eating dinner tonight, so whoops. Anyway, I tried it and it's just eh. It's okay, it's kind of weird. And it's, it's good, but I think the part that I don't love is the part where the rice and the eggs are supposed to be like kind of an Asian flavor and the chicken is the chipotle garlic flavor. I think they, I don't know, I'm gonna keep eating and I'll tell you if it gets any better. Okay, so here I am. This about sums up my day. I am sitting here waiting for my computer to do, you know, something. I'm not really sure what is gonna happen when it reaches uh, there. But I've been on the phone off and on for a couple hours with the Apple Care people who are very nice humans, very thankful for them. But I kind of feel like I'm computer cursed. Not really sure. Ooh, it went off. Not sure if that was supposed to happen or not. <sighs> anyway. Oh, hey, look, it's back on. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, wish me luck. This is my Sunday. Hello, it is Tuesday at 9.29 p.m. <clears throat> I'm in the car, I'm not driving, but we are headed to, I just ate red fine, so my tongue's red. We are headed to the stadium where I'm going to get the first uh, vaccine. And then I'm gonna come home and go to bed. My appointment is for 10.39, so um, I will let you know what it's like when I get there. I'll try to film a little bit. Wish me luck. Okay, so they have it on the radio and it gives you directions. Pretty cool. Here we are at the stadium. This is insane, man. Welcome to the state of Arizona COVID-19 vaccination site at State Farm Stadium. All vaccine appointments require you to pre-register at azhealth.gov slash find vaccine. Follow instructions on signs and directions from site staff. To protect others and yourself, please wear a mask throughout your visit. Have your appointment number and identification readily available to expedite your check-in. Once you enter the site, your registration information will be verified and you will be directed to a vaccination lane. After your vaccination, you will be directed to an observation area where you must wait for at least 15 minutes following your shot. If you describe any allergies or previous reaction to a vaccine, you'll be asked to 
wait for 30 minutes in the observation area. While you are on site, please keep your windows down at all times. Wear your mask, drive slowly, and follow all directions from site staff. Thank you for tuning in to WQUM 334-1650. Welcome to the state of Arizona COVID-19 vaccination site at State Farm Stadium. It's getting a little busy I'm out here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we're still here. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a little busy. Okay, we're still here. We're in line and it is 10.03 and we're not even at the place where you check in yet. We were here how much early were we here? Almost an hour? No, no not quite. Like 45 minutes early. And I think a coworker told me that um, and we were supposed to be 20 minutes early, so we're way earlier than we're supposed to be. However, I don't see us getting to the front of the line anytime real soon. So um, I guess my advice would be come early, but who knows? Maybe when we get up there, they're going to kick us out. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because it's the buildup of something I don't know about, and I don't like that. But it's fine. Everything's fine. And oh, good news, we get to do this two times because the second uh, second vaccine is in 21 to 28 days. So, woohoo. Anyway, let's hope it works. Okay, here we are. We're up closer to the front. Right up there is where the shot will happen. Um, getting a little nervous, but it's going to be fine. Okay, it is my turn almost. I'm next. Oh my gosh. A little bit um, nervous. Not really. Just because of the suspense of it all. It's the time. Very cool. The time. Very cool. Let me get the time. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Can't really see it. They put, can you see me? <laughs> they put the time on our windshield because they want you to wait afterwards for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 30, if you've ever had any um, reaction to a vaccine before. So that's kind of fun. We're making history. That's pretty cool. Oh God, oh, she scared, you scared me because you looked over there. She didn't scare me. It was you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Here she comes, ah! This is good, this is fantastic. Hello. Any allergies? No, ma'am. All right, just let your elbow okay. completely relax. Okay, relaxed. I'm just so relaxed. Use that arm to hold this up. Okay. okay. This is history, right? It is history. This is Science pretty cool. History. Science history. Yeah. I don't know if I like that part One, of it, two, but that's three. okay. You're going to be able to tell your grandkids about how you live through That's the right, exactly. How many hours are you guys here, personally? This is my first night helping. I, oh, I got okay. <laughs> the email at 7.30. So oh, like, wow. I've been here since 9. So. Wow. Yeah, Thank you awesome. so much. Be safe. Tell a friend. Thank you. Definitely <laughs> will. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Okay. Oh, did I? Okay, so now, now we go. That was so easy. I mean, you know, what did I think? Please tell me it was recorded. It is. It's still recording. <laughs> no, I need to go through line again. Okay, now we sit and wait somewhere. Okay, just got the vaccine finished, done, Pfizered up, and now we have to sit and wait and make sure that I don't drop dead. That would be a problem. I mean, a big problem. So, they have um, like medical people. Is that where you were pointing? That's not a ambulance, is it? Oh, way over there. Okay, so yeah, they have medical they have medical people everywhere here. But um, in case something were to happen. Anyway, feeling fine, feeling good, feeling half safe now. Anyway, um, I will let you know how I feel later. Hello, I wanted to get this video up uh, really soon. So I thought I would come on and just update um, about the vaccine. So I got the vaccine on Tuesday night. We got home about midnight. Um, so I don't know how it is in other parts of the country, but for us here in Arizona, it was about a um, three hour time commitment by the time we left waited, got through the check-in, got through the shot uh, line itself, 
it was, sorry, I'm just holding my camera because I'm lazy tonight. Um, and by the time we got the shot. So first night, um, got home at midnight, felt fine, went to bed. They did say to drink a lot of water, but it was midnight and I get up at five. So I did, I had been drinking a lot of water since I had gotten home, so that part was fine. I did drink a little bit, went to bed, woke up at three in the morning, so, and I, I couldn't get to sleep right away because that's just me, it had nothing to do with the vaccine. Um, so I fell asleep a little before two, woke up at three, and I was really cold. I was just like shivering, which, I am always hot, never shivering. So that was kind of weird. And the reason I woke up, I think, is because I had a ridiculously bad headache, which also is me, depends on the weather, on whatever. Um, so I don't know if those were vaccine related or not. No real idea. It was kind of unusual. But I took two Advil, went back to bed, slept for another couple hours, got up and felt totally fine. Arm was sore, but, you know, nothing worse than... Uh, tetanus shot or the flu vaccine. So went to school, worked all day. I did check my temperature to make sure I was fine. And I was, um, went to school Wednesday and was totally fine Wednesday. Then Thursday, yesterday was Thursday. And I, at about two o'clock in the afternoon, just started feeling kind of gross. And again, no real idea if it was vaccine or not, but I started, I was really lightheaded, not to the point where I was like concerned or anything, um, but I was lightheaded and I started to feel kind of achy, but it was almost time to leave anyway. So I left um, and by the time I got home, I just felt bleh, like really gross. So I took two Advil and was fine, slept fine, woke up um, this morning, today is Friday, woke up this morning with a horrible headache. I mean, absolutely migraine status. So I woke up, took two Advil, went back to bed. It was like probably, I don't know, six or something in the morning. Um, I was not working today. Today was my dad's um, memorial service. So, which was wonderful. I may or may not talk about that later. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, went back to bed because I could, I could sleep in, um, got up a few cup now about it's like eight then and took an Excedrin migraine because that's what, um, will usually completely get rid of my headaches or to the point where I'm human. So I took that and it didn't help. And I was drinking coffee. I was drinking water, mostly coffee though, for being honest here. Um, and then as the day wore on, I felt better. So could have been stress, could have been the weather because it was pretty windy here, or it could have been the vaccine. But it is now um, 9.30 p.m. on Friday night, and I feel totally fine. So if you have any reservations um, about the vaccine, I totally get it. I did too. Um, my sister happens to be a doctor. And so she is a wealth of information. She will always go the extra mile and find out whatever we need to know. So I am completely confident in my decision to get the vaccine based on what I have read, based on what I've heard. And I just wanted to share one more real life story about um, how it affected me. So anyway, I'll let you know if there's any change, but so far so good. I have heard second uh, dose is a little bit worse, so we'll see. But fingers crossed that uh, it's it works. That's what I'm I'm very hopeful for. And the stress of going to work every day and being around so many people um, was really weighing on me hard. So this will help. I feel like at least if nothing else with my mentalness. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Please remain positive about the world we live in. Things are looking up. Thank you, 2021. Um, and if you liked anything about this video, please consider subscribing to help me grow my channel. I'll be back with more videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.